2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Tonight, it'll be the Boston Celtics going up against the Los Angeles Clippers. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brett Beer, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. At the guard spots, we'll see Westbrook and George, and small and power forwards, Leonard and Batum. And it's Plumley in its center. And for Boston, they've got Jason Tatum. Horford is out there with Brogdon. And it's Benton in at the four-man position. And here we are, Brent, right around the midway point of the season. When you play, did you ever hit a rookie wall? I, I really didn't, Kevin, but it, it all depends on the minutes that you're playing. If you're coming off the bench for 15 or 20, you probably don't get in that position. But if you are a full-time starter as a rookie and you have that opportunity, man, that schedule, that can mount up on you. Now here's Leonard coming off a stellar performance against Toronto. Good work defensively by Horford. Last outing for the Clippers, they won that game against the Raptors. I don't want to be careless around any point guard in the league. This time it's Brogdon, and he's capable of drawing that foul. The Celtics shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. Malcolm Brogdon. Shooting two. That free throw good from Brockton. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really, over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. It's deflected, and they'll keep possession. Outside for Batum. Bangs home the trifecta. Batum. And Batum can still knock down threes. He gives you that kind of gravity that the offense relies on. Manton, the pass to Champagny. And the layup's good off the glass. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. Tatum against George. He can't get that one. Great D that time from Tatum. To Champagne. Shoots over Leonard. And that Justin one's good. Champagne. Champagne's got his second bucket of the night. Well, the size that Brogdon has at the point guard, a good job of finding somebody over the top. To the middle. Here's George. Score the basket. Oh, nice shot after Lord. missing his first attempt. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. And the basket by Horford. I like that Al right there just got a great angle, and he finished strong. Clippers have gone 2 of 6 on the field. Pass to Leonard. Over Tatum. Again, Los Angeles. Oh, man, can that guy shoot a turnaround jumper or what? Almost an impossible shot to defend. And that one's good, Champagne. Champagne. Champagne's got six. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Westbrook kicks to George. Westbrook, no good. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the lane. We love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Here's George following the bucket by the Celtics. The kick out to Westbrook. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. 
you look at the Celtics and not a surprise really to see them sitting there in the number one spot in the conference the excellent brand of basketball they've been putting on display lately has been terrific and you know for the Celtics they've got their sights set pretty darn high right now after what they've done this season their goal is nothing short of a title a massive amount of confidence Tremendous swagger with this team, and they believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. Here's Westbrook. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Westbrook passes to Plumley. The layup off target. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And that passing ability really helps separate Tatum from so many others because the defense has to focus on his ability to score. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Some changes for Boston. Brown is checked in for Tatum. Richard comes in for Al Horford. And it's Robert Williams in for Malcolm Brogdon. Now, here is Martin. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. A nice dime from Zubac. His Assisted score awareness is solid. Evita Zubac. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Seven-point differential. Last time they met was in Los Angeles, where they beat the Clippers. Not a close contest, either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid in the bench. Was the difference? The second unit came in last game and just played lights out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. So it's the Clippers now following the bucket by the Celtics. Zubac kicks to Powell. It's hauled in by Brock. Last game for the Celtics. They pick up the win against the Heat. Yeah, their long range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer. The when you're on the road. Yeah, they sapped the energy right out of the building in that one. They just were knocking down threes. And it was deflating both for the team and the crowd. Here's Mann after the basket by Boston. Williams with the block. The amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. All right, a chance to check out stats for Russell Westbrook. Celtics leading by 11. Over in the corner, Williams. Here's Champagny, covered Just by Morris. Champagny. And that one's good, Champagny. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. 41 seconds left to play in the first. Morris just Jr. aggressive there. Instead of going to one of his patented shots inside, Morris just simply rises up to be free. And that Justin one's good, Jim Payne. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Clippers trail by 13. Man passes to Zubac. Banked in off the glass. He saw yeah, in the paint, Zubats is going to get aggressive and not going to hold back. Put contact on him. It's going through you. To the paint. Champagne passes to Pritchard. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Yeah, it never stopped working. One of those games where just Boston everybody was making shots, Justin continual Champagne. flow, and a very first professional win. First team foul. It's his first trip to the line. For the Clippers, Ivica Zubac. And he knocks down the first one. 
the effort level from Zubats is something that the coaching staff and obviously his teammates greatly appreciate. Night in and night out, he's giving you his all. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. LA ball. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Here's man. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. And Morris doing a good job of scanning the floor and realizing when his teammate was open. Here's Brown. And so it's the Boston Celtics bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their defense has been very effective in locking down Russell Westbrook. Back to the action in just a minute. so far halfway through the first half in this one and a chance to catch up on some numbers here the scoring breakdown for the Celtics straight away they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing running smart plays and just setting guys up for success well whether the defense is inviting these shots or not they've been great in the mid-range and so producing from there that bodes well They've got Robert Williams, and it's Pritchard in at the shooting guard position. That's the Boston Five. Releases from 15. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Clippers. They trail by seven. They can look forward to the Cavaliers after this game in a matchup against Cleveland. Seven-game road trip continues for them. That'll be game number three. Back to Williams. The shot from the low post is good. Williams. Williams has got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Celtics. Clippers trail by nine. Westbrook surveying the D. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Manton, the pass to Champagny. To the left wing. Fires it up. Walsh can't get it to go. The Clippers shooting 39% from the floor. Not their best. Leonard with no one around. From outside, off the mark. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Counting. Walsh has got his first bucket of the night. And the classic, the bank shot. Very popular at one time. Brett, what happened to him? I think the only time you really see it, Kevin, is when guys are going in for layups at full speed and trying to take some of that speed off the basketball. Guys really just don't get the ball in possession where they're going to use a good angle off the glass. Those are usually mid-range shots. How many of those? So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. A two-time finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard. Brent, he's shown he can dominate at the highest of levels. And when he dominates, he dominates every facet of the game. At his peak, Kawhi is one of the most impactful players this game has ever seen. Look at the numbers for Jason Tatum. He's putting up 29 points a game, 8 assists, and 6 rebounds. And he really anchors them defensively with that tenacious play on that side of the ball. He loves to get up into the uniform of his opposition and make you work for everything that you get offensively. Took him no time at all on that one. Jason Richard's got his first points in this one. Even when Tatum isn't the shooter, he's dangerous. He can set others up to finish the job. There's the lob to Brown. Throws down the alley with slam. What an athlete Brown this kid is. is. Brown, it, it's just fun watching him get up and throw it down. Clippers trail by 13. And here's George for three. Jalen Brown with the rebound. The Celtics have gone four and six in the field here in the second. Puts it up from 12. Banton's shot is off. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. 
And there's Paul George oh, on the assist from Westbrook. George has got five now. Well, Paul George does have unlimited range, kind of getting into that mode where one of those guys you have to guard when he gets over half court. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey there, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard continuing to work his way back to peak form after his ACL tear during the 2021 playoffs. He said, I missed a whole year of basketball. I don't want to take anything for granted. I'm just trying to live in the moment and bring a sense of energy for the team. I'm still young, I'm a lot stronger, and I'm back. Nick, so, I'm happy. Four, Kevin? Three. Yeah, good to see, D.A. Hey, thank you. Passes to Pritchard. Over Westbrook. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. A shot by Batum, no good. Austin leading by seven. Pritchard passes to Cornette. Count the basket. Just Cornette. impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Clippers have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold timeout. second quarter for them. That's three of nine. Los Angeles calls timeout. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. And the Celtics making a change here. Well, Zingas has checked in. And let's look at some league leaders. Big defense being played by these small forwards. They're leading their position in blocks over the last month. The fourth spot held by Jason Tatum. Just superb in terms of their athletic defending ability. I mean, all of them. They never give up on a play and do everything they can to challenge each and every shot. Well, if you don't have great shot blocking ability, you can make up with it with physical play and great timing. They can climb the ladder when they need to to defend shots like that. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. So it's the Clippers now. After the basket by Boston. Here's Powell. That's in for the first Norman basket of the game Powell. after three attempts. I like that hoop from Norman Powell. Shoot it close to the hoop. Forget the long range stuff. Make it easy on yourself. The three from Tatum. The three from Tatum. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Powell. Up and in on the way. Powell. Powell's got four points in the quarter. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. The three from Tatum. And the Celtics hit again from deep. You expect Tatum to be around that 40% mark from deep. Very reliable from three. Man passes to Powell. Good on the shot. Norman Powell's oh. got six. Well, the game's four quarters, and after a tough first half, he's found his rhythm in the second. Here's Persingas. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Man. In the hoop. For his third make from the field, he's three for four thus far in the contest. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Back to Tatum. Over Morris. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And the shot goes in. Richard's got his second bucket of the game to go. That's their third straight make off an assist. Powell down low. Two points. That one goes. And, and that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. 
The three from Tatum. What a play! That Simply drains it in at the buzzer. The score. What a grand finale to the half. Great shot from distance to give his team the momentum right before the buzzer. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Austin on top, and up by 16. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Out in front of the half is Boston. They're leading by 16. Kenny, how'd you see? Their effort on the glass, absolutely key to set the tone. They wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they wanted to dominate on both ends. Really terrific performance. Thus far. And Shaq, your take on the Clippers? They've been struggling to get shots in general. And down low, they've been paper soft, paper safe. Giving up way too many easy games. They can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half. It's going to be a long run. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Celtics leading by 16. Checking out the group for Teron Lue to start the second half. Filling the two and three, the core of George and Leonard. Batum is out there with Plumlee, and it's Westbrook in at the guard position. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. Well, he's grabbed a tee and a blanket because he's putting this one to bed. Westbrook comes up empty down low. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Here's Tatum. Yes, once again, he remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. Oh, another huge night for Tatum. One of the top scorers in the NBA. Jason beats you in so many different ways. Westbrook finds Batum. Good. Nice Nick assist from Westbrook. Batum. Westbrook's got his third assist on the night. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Where's Westbrook following the bucket by the Celtics? Inside. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. They are just killing him on the interior. Austin leading by 17. Tatum passes to Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. No need to settle for a layup. Persingas inside at that size. That's an easy jam. 90 seconds now into the second half. Leonard against Brown. Leonard, the open look. It's rebounded by Porzingis. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Tatum no good. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Porzingis with the block. Well, Porzingis, the height, the reach, just overpowering. Now here's Porzingis. He has six. Shot is good off the bat. Porzingis. Rim Eight points for Brzezinkis. Yeah, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Los Angeles calls timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. see some of the numbers for Plumlee. He's right around nine points a night. Seven rebounds and two assists. And he's done his share of the work for the team. Definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around and he's not letting the team down. Now here's Plumlee. Still without a basket. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And here's George for three. And Boston with the rebound. 
Tatum's got rebound number five here tonight. One thing you marvel at, the consistency of Paul George, year in and year out. I wonder when Paul George, Greg, goes into the offseason, if it's more tinkering and sharpening all those skills, or if he's trying to add something, because I don't know how you add anything to how versatile a player he is. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lu says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Norman Powell comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Now the pass to Walsh. Puts the move on. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Here's Westbrook. One of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. But two inside. He's guarded by Brogdon. The shot by George. Wide open. And it's George again missing. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Westbrook double team. For three. And there's Paul George. Oh, George. On the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists now tonight. Pass to Tatum. Horford with it. Zubats defending. That one goes in. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Westbrook kicks to Zubats. There's the dish to Powell. Rebounded by the Celtics. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. Here's Tatum. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And now you see him starting to really work the ball inside. First team Let's quickly ball. check out the scoring breakdown here for the Celtics. For I like this throwback Jason approach Tatum. they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. And that one falls for Tatum. And looking at Tatum's game, you know, he really doesn't have a weakness. He can give it to you in a variety of ways. Here's Mann. He's got six. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebound. Now here's Paul following the miss by Al Horford. Yes, that goes in. Norman Powell's got 10. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Out to the wing, 20 feet out. A shot by Pritchard, no good. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Boston yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Boston's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. The three from Tatum. The Clippers grab the miss. Down low, here's Mann. Morris passes to Powell. Here's Mann. He's guarded by Brogdon. Down to five on the shot clock. Martin with the bucket. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Boston's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. Left side, Tatum. Over Martin. A nice shot by Tatum. And that's now 25 points for Jason Tatum. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. The shot by Powell, no good. How about the timing 
he shows there to challenge that shot. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. It's the Celtics running away with this one. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Horford. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Walsh in at the four. That's the Boston Five. Here's Highland. That one wide left. Celtic shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Tatum on the wing. Shoots over Highland. And again, Jason Tatum. Tatum's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Boston. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 43% from the field. Martin with it. Now guarded by Tatum. They double him with Horford. And here's Morris for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Morris, Morris. How about the quick shot there for Morris? Not allowing the defense to get anywhere near him. Martin against Tatum. Over Martin. And again, it's Boston converted. Tatum. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Here's Highland. And that one hits back iron. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. And it's rebounded by Covington. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Rejected by Brockton. Here's Tatum. And good. Coming on the assist by Brockton. Tatum's got six in the quarter. How about the speed with which Tatum gets down the court? Awesome at reading the defense and then exploiting the opportunity Marcus, Marcus in the open floor. Of all the, the action assist. happening there, it's Terrence the assist man. that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Shoots the three, and that's good. Jason Tatum for three. Tatum's got 36. And I tell you what, Tatum is proving to be an all-around scorer of the basketball. He can do it all. Unhindered, going all the way. Here's Pritchard. And it's Boston with another. This is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. Kind of get a team defensively on their heels, and if you can keep pushing and keep attacking, they'd never find some kind of defensive balance to help slow you down. Morris, no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Here's Horford. Rebound by the Clippers. Highland deciding where to go with it. Shoots. Boston grabs the miss. Tatum's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. He gets it in there. Martin inside. Never rushed. Effective with the soft touch. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Los Angeles with another miss. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Tatum gets the bucket. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Outside, Covington. And just miss after miss right now. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. Martin wide open. He fires off target from outside. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him 
that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Now a timeout called by Boston. Hey, Brett, coming out of this last for CBA, Boston were you surprised how quickly the push from hard salary cap was abandoned? Yeah, I wonder, Kevin, if some of it was just the timing of the CBA and not having to go down into the trenches to talk about that level of what's happening financially around the NBA. Also, the small market teams were super opposed to having that be put in place because at times they want a chance to go all in as well. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Hey, Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Here's the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 16 to 5 run. 14 feet away. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. You know, I know they want to make Williams a, a stretch four or five, but the mid-range jumper at present is still where he's most comfortable. Outside Westbrook, pass to Mann. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Three. That's a shot he's going to bury, especially when left open. To the inside, here's Persingas. Plays it up That's off the glass. This is what an offense is supposed to do. You look for a high percentage shot, and Persingas the beneficiary. Westbrook passes to Mann. Zubac trying to break loose. Nice D from Williams. Boston's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing Just blowout. Big-time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Celtics. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win. And these guys already with 45 wins on the year. So tonight we'll make it 46. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two game. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jason Tatum. He, he was in the zone. Right? He's just a man on a mission. And that helped him notch that triple-double. Morris finds Brown. Dunk by Powell. Norman. Excellent Powell. work from Powell in the pick and roll action. Boston's gone six of eight on three pointers in the game, an outstanding 75% mark. Outside Williams. Here's Hauser. And another basket for Boston. Hauser. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but. Once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Here's Westbrook. Offensive rebound. Morris outside. Powell against Brown. Out to Morris. A second chance effort. And he connects Marcus with the Morris jumper. Senior. Excellent work from Assisted. the mid-range. Morris likes Norman. shaking free Powell. from that area. 17 seconds left in the game. Passes it to Champagny. A stupendous Justin finishing track. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going. They're fully on display here. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, so operating flawlessly, and the other just some two free answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is we'll just see you so time. tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports.